What's up guys, Johnny here, welcome back. Today I wanna to do a quick review for you guys. I wanna share with you one of my latest purchases, a brand new 6S battery. If you've been following this channel at all, you know that I'm a big believer in 6S. I've been having great results with 6S. It's just, it flies so much better for me than 4S. I'm really, really enjoying it. And there was a new battery that came out recently that got real hyped up. Um, Surge from Pyroflip was saying, hey, check these batteries out and I fell for it, I picked them up, I ordered some, and I took a look, and I wanna share those results with you. Do they live up to the hype, or do they fall short? Anyway, that product is right here, the 1150Ma 120C Infinity 6S Pack. All right, guys, so I've had a chance to run these through about 20 to 25 cycles so far, and I think that's enough to give you kind of a first impression uh, baseline review. I've already formed my opinion on these things. Let me first tell you about my thought process and why I bought these, why I picked them up. So I've been running the 1250 Ma Pyro Drone packs with my primary packs, and those are pretty heavy. When I put them on the scale, they weigh in at 219 grams. Now, what I've noticed is that those packs are pretty much borderline for making it through a lot of tracks for me. But if I HV charge, it's no problem. These things, when they're hyped up, they're showing 196 grams. Dropping from 219 to 196 grams, you know, that's a significant savings. So my thought process was that if I can save 23 grams and still make it around the track with an 1150, or at least most tracks, 1150 is almost as much as 1250. It claims a higher C rating. Maybe it puts out the same sort of power. Let me pick some of these things up and see if they work, because I'd really love to save that 25 grams. Maybe just help me get through those turns a little bit better. And that was where my head was at. Now, what I also thought is, because I can make it through most tracks on the 1250 without HV charging, if I take these 1150s, HV them, hopefully that'll give me about the same amount of capacity as I'm getting out of the Pyrodrone 1250s. That'd be a winning combination, saving 25 grams. That was where my thought process was. So anyways, I took these things out, I took them out for a practice session, and the very first pack, I put on that quad, I strapped it up, I sent it, and what I noticed is that it was pulling awesome. The performance was great. It felt just like the 1250s that I've been flying, the Pyrodrone 1250s. But what happened is it, it seemingly just died on me. So as I started getting over 900 milliamp hours, which is still quite a bit less than 1150, I just saw those voltage sagging down and I knew this pack was done. So I landed about 920, 930. I checked the voltage. Each cell had dropped about 3.50 volts per cell. That's where it rebounded to. And I noticed kind of a pattern is usually with my 1250 packs, I'll come down at 1050 maybe, maybe even 1100. And that's still going to have you over 37 per cell on that pack. I was expecting to get about a thousand on this before I had to land. Um, and that's kind of where I was expecting. So what I noticed is as I kept flying, I'm so used to flying my other packs that I kept putting these things down to 3.3 three volt per cell, 3.4 volt per cell, because they pull real strong until that point they just don't pull anymore. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you probably killed your pack. So luckily they've all rebounded fine. They've all flown well again, um, but I just keep doing it over and over again. It's just, I only get about a minute and 40, a minute and a half of flight time out of these things before they're just done. Yeah, so what that means for me is I'm not gonna use these anymore except for maybe some practice. I just can't trust my performance in a two minute race that these are gonna make it through. Maybe if I'm into some sort of a main race where um, we're capped out at about a minute and a half, a minute and 20. This may cut it, maybe I'll use it then. But for the most part, qualifying, this is just not gonna do it for me. I definitely wish I did not purchase these packs and I had instead stuck to the 1250 6S Pyrodrome packs that I'm used to. Um, the cost on these packs is $29, the exact same as the Pyrodrome packs. Um, they look real nice, they're pretty packs, they perform well when you're pulling amps, but just the capacity does not match the rated capacity I have here. What I'm having again today, I was out on the out of the field doing some more testing as I was flying. I pulled this thing to 931 milliamp hours. And after I put it down, I checked the capacity about three hours later and it was at 3.45 per cell. So 931 milliamp hours out, 3.45 cells rebounded on here. That's just nowhere near the list of capacity. It's just a huge bummer to me for that sort of weight. It just Man, it really frustrates me. Anyway, I threw it back on the charger. I charged it back up. I think the charger it read about 967 milliamp hours put in. So that does tell me that my current calibration is relatively accurate. And it, it just, it has way less capacity than what I need and what I'm getting out of the Pyrodrome packs. 
So I did throw this thing on the scale, make sure it matched the 196 grams uh, that I was seeing from Pyrodrome when they were telling me what these things weighed. So when I did put it on the scale, it did weigh 196. That is what it reported. This bad boy here is my main primary go-to 6S pack. I put that on there, it did weigh 219 grams. And anyway, right here I had the original 6S pack that I used to fly, which is the Pulse 1050 milliamp hour 75C battery. When I put this thing on the scale, it came in at about 187 grams, I believe. So about nine grams lighter than this Infinity pack. But what I will say is in my testing, the Infinity pack pulls a little bit harder than this pack here, the Pulse pack. But the 1050 Pulse probably has a little bit more capacity than the 1150 Infinity. And I didn't expect that at all. I expected a lot more out of this pack. So bottom line, who is this pack for? You know, somebody running a little bit slower, somebody could make it around the two minute track, no problem, and wants to save that 25 grams. This is a pretty decent pack. But for me, I would just recommend you avoid this. Go for the bigger brother. I don't notice much difference at all with that 25 grams. I think it's worth it. I'd much rather have the extra 200 milliamp hours of flight time, maybe even 300 milliamp hours. This is my go-to pack. I'm gonna keep using it for 6S flight. And I wanted to share those findings with you guys. Anyway, hopefully you found that helpful. I'd steer clear of this pack, but if you do want to pick it up, I'll have a link down below. Please click it um, if you pick these things up. Else, run these packs. I'll also have a link to these. They're very hard to get them in stock, but when they are, definitely pick some of these up. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, let me know what you think of that there. Let me know if you've tried these packs, if you had different results than me, um, and just kind of what you thought of these. And as always, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.